Tonight on Master Skug Kitchen, I will be ranking and finding out which Rain World mobs rank in the top tier of cuisine dishes, analyzing every creature in the game to find the perfect Master Skug dish. Tastes like shit. Am I ready to find out the truth? Only tonight and possibly later tomorrow on Master Skug Kitchen. Hey there, sardines. So there's a lot of tier lists going on in the gaming community, but they're all, you know, boring stuff like which lizard is the best, which iterator is the strongest, which slug cat is the best to play. I mean, like, come on guys, we know that stuff already. So I need a tier list that speaks to me. So we're going to be going over every mob and turning them into a gourmet food and then ranking each dish using this tier list I have intellectually constructed. S being the best and E being the worst. Now, I'm not a trained culinary student, but I did make deviled eggs once, so I'm basically a chef. With all that out of the way, let's dig in, shall we? Let's start up with the slug cats. The slug cats are known to be very squishy. Very squishy indeed. At the start, we have Survivor. We all know this little dude is the base mascot of the game since he's seen everywhere. Very well-rounded, basic, and simple. Slug cats, I imagine, will make it like little dumpling rolls. Survivor would be like a normal tasting roll. Nothing special, but you know, good for an easy lunch. B tier, I'd say. You know, you're something I would get for like fast food when I'm poor. Monk, also known as baby mode, would be a smaller dumpling roll with a yellow tint. The tint comes from the uncooked dough that the roll is made of, so it's a lot softer and eating it will probably give you indigestion because this is a half-baked slug cat just as the people who can only play Monk C tier. Hunter, the hard mode, the experienced players only slug cat. While it may sound delicious and unique at first, upon seeing it you realize this roll has expired months ago and is slowly dying in your hands. It's beginning to show signs of decay all over it. It's lost all taste and the texture is just like that of bubbling sandpaper. Eat it if you have to, but you're better off just finding something else or dying. D tier. Ooh, how exquisite. A rare ingredient. They really should have just made Nightcat the hidden slug cat, not whatever the f he not is. Nightcat would bestow a beautifully dark blue roll, almost like a dessert, but it would kind of just taste the same as Survivor. A very pretty meal, albeit, but you know, the, the same as Survivor, so B tier. Oh boy, we're getting to downpour slug cats now. Cornucopia is real and his name is Mr. Gorb. The best thing about Gourmand is that he comes pre stuffed with a variety of ingredients. Sadly, the Time Lord magic that this thing apparently inhibits would make shelling it out extremely time consuming, but. All that work would bestow a deliciously fat slug cat roll. Nice and plump and good with some soy sauce. Absolutely A tier. The evil rat woman introduces a new palette. It's called Reaper Spice. Meaning that the first bite may taste delicious, but the second you breathe in, it'll feel like Satan himself has gone through and stabbed every single taste bit on your tongue. It's a spicy roll. Like if Sriracha and a California Reaper got made into a stuffing. But I like spicy food, so B tier. I wanna die. Do you like seafood? I like seafood. Thankfully, I can skip the descaling process with this one. Ruffles, the little shuffle muffle, has a kerfuffle he'd like to share. The seafood scug roll. Super smooth and tastes like seaweed and salmon. Absolutely delicious S tier. I would die for a salmon roll right now. Bones can be tasty. You ever have food that, you know, it looks fine and then you taste it and you can tell it was obviously manufactured in factory by like a really sad guy. That's what I imagined the Spearmaster roll tastes like. Very rubbery and clearly synthetic material. So, uh, eat here. Do you like feeling fuzz in your mouth? Here's a fuzzy little green leprechaun roll. It tastes like veggies, but it feels like mold. But it, it, it's not mold, trust me. I just didn't dethaw it, so it's got like the weird ice hairs all over it. Uh, yeah, eat here. Hmm. Tastes like shit. Fuck you, F tier. Well now, I suppose it's time to make it into the reptilian era of our cuisine. Lizards have extremely tough skin IRL, but in Rain World the backs are super soft, I guess. So I introduced the concept of lizard steaks. To start off, we had the green lizard, you know, very fatty, tough, muscular. You know, the hardest part would be chewing it, but as an American citizen, I can say that just fucking slaps May one on it, it's fine, C tier. Magenta, a much softer meat, still tough, but not nearly as chewy. Portions are close to the same as the green lizard, but not as much. They're a bit more preferable to softer toothed crowds, I'd say. C tier as well. No matter how hard you cook it, it still feels rare. 
good for a quick bite to eat, but the lack of work to acquire this dish makes it very empty and the portion size is almost always too little. C tier, not enough. The Eldritch Meat Calls. I've never had a steak constantly shift colors on me. Ideally, in this theoretical concept I've made up. When the white lizard dies, its blood, you know, no longer circulates, so the camo becomes useless. But for some reason, I have a suspicion that the colors would still change anyway. Somehow, I don't know. Cool experience if you've never had exotic meat before, so C tier still. It tastes like dirt. Poor little guy didn't ask for this. It's a meat that tastes like the dirt and soil you mercilessly pulled it out of. Tough, chewy, filled with regret. You get a D tier. Go home, little guy. Orange lizard is a very exotic meat for someone who's never been anywhere important in their life ever. The orange lizard provides a soft but delightful experience, and the antenna meat is generously seasoned over the steak. Every bite is filled with the telepathic screams of those you do not recognize. Don't worry, it's just side effect will go away soon. B tier. Some wouldn't count salamanders as lizards, because, you know, they're not. Sally's come in a wide variety of colors, and their steak may taste nice and refreshing if you can get past the slimy, gooey, sticky texture. Don't bother cooking it anymore after that either, because once you cook all the moisture out, it's drier than literal fucking sand. E tier. I don't like the idea of slimy steak. If anger was a flavor, it would be this. Toughest, hardest steak imaginable, only for the roughest, toughest gangsters. No bubble blowing babies allowed. I see tough, big ass portions. This ain't some outback steakhouse. It's a little kid meal. A real man eats red lizard with their bare fucking teeth. Eh, B tier, I guess. Have you considered eating mm, raw helium? Ever had a steak that just explodes? Looks cool as hell, but you bite into it and suddenly you're on another fucking continent. Very chewy and soft, almost like the pink lizard, but it tastes like beef that's been marinating in blueberry monster energy for way too long. Eh, C tier. Hello, Mr. Willy Wonka. You're tough, you're chewy, you're fatty. One steak is enough to feed an entire colony. It tastes glazed of butterscotch and caramel. A sweet meat, delicious and worth the fight. A tier, I can feed everybody. Ma'am, you are adorable. The precious Wagyu of the Lizard Kingdom. A steak worth millions of pearls. A soft, delicious meat that melts in your mouth. Almost sweet, but still tangy. S tier, absolutely, yes sir. More seafood, amazing. I think the eel lizard is like my favorite lizard, it just looks cool. Portions are great too, you could dice them into like little circle steaks. Soft but not too soft, you know? It, it tastes like eel. Ever had eel? Eel's delicious, I love eel. Put some eel sauce on the eel lizard and call it a day. Another S tier, he is. It's like... It's like eating a tire, you know? Guilty by association. I'll give you some credit because at least you look cool, but I'm not even gonna bother. How, how, how do I eat this? How do I attack it? I like bugs. I really like bugs. You know, not to eat, not fond of the idea, but you know, we're going into this hypothetical with nothing but creative mannerisms, so I don't actually want to eat any of these creatures. That being said, bad fly stir fry sounds super catchy. You can eat it with a fork. Season it up with some nice pupa plants, batten it maybe. It could be good, I guess. B tier. After de-shelling the centipede, you're left with a very crunchy but spicy meat, I guess? I don't know. Bugs don't really have meat. Adult portions could be deadly, so it's important to remove the stingers before consumption. If you don't, <laughs> die then. C tier. It's double the process now, and it's the same portion. You gotta de-wing it and de-shell it now. It's like if snow crabs had feathers, except the meat isn't nearly as good. D tier. You're a waste of my time. Do you ever think of death? How do you think death tastes like? De-shelling it is tough, but I mean, you can get some really cool trophies out of it. The materials you give are way more valuable than the meat you provide. I'd say like C tier, mid B tier, kinda in the middle. What the fuck? Why, why do you exist? I hate you. You are horrible. You're a red centipede in a centa wing, but underwater. This is the worst possible combination. It's wet and thrice the work now. E tier. Never. Never. I'm just gonna group up all the spiders because I imagine they kinda just taste the same. Crunchy and bitter. Like a blooming onion that's been sitting out in your driveway in 200 degree weather. You like crunchy things? Crunchy and bitter and probably laced with some kind of neurotoxin? This is the dish for you. It's still moving too, pro probably. You are the reason I started this. Ever since I got this game, I've been wondering what the hell egg bug tasted like. The bug itself is not beneficial, but the eggs can be served either chopped or boiled in a platter. Like duck eggs, but you know, way saltier and kind of gooey. Honestly, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd try it. A tier, yeah. The foreign exotic version of this dish comes from the south end of New Mexico also known as hell. A similar dish, but the texture of the eggs is much hotter and stickier and will cause physical damage to your skin. 
Tastes great though, B-tier, throwing aside the lethality. The infants are much squishier than the adults. Assuming once the noodle flies reach adulthood, they grow a sharp proboscis that's used for skewering and probably other things. So we have noodle fly soup. It's like ramen, except it tastes like child neglect. And chicken. Mmm, tasty. B-tier. What sucks about squid cicadas is that they're a mix of my two favorite animals, you know, squids and cicadas. Unfortunately, they're douchebags. We got stuffed squid cata mixed with other veggies and meats to share with your friends, B-tier, because it's huge. Do you know what an earwig looks like? I don't know what to do with you because your general appearance is displeasing and you're extremely dumb sometimes. I'm gonna make drop wig chili because the only way I can like you is when I cannot recognize you in any way. It still tastes bad, like crunchy and squishy and kind of bitter. Easier. For every vulture grub you harvest, it's important to dislodge the head and remove all other cybernetic attachments to reveal and provide a gooey, plump array of grub casserole. Perfect for your pet vulture, and it tastes like salty, segmented cheese shrimp. B tier. That, that, that's a sentence that I just wrote. Uh, you take the spear and remove it. You, no, you, you take, you, you take the spear and, and you, you remove, you, you, you take, you, you take the spear, remove, you, 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 you remove, you remove it. You, you, you re remove. When cooking with grapple worms, it is important to carve out the mucusy snail tongue thing in the center, which will be stuffed and wrapped with other objects to make worm wraps. It's squishy, awful, and I can still taste the tongue detail. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pretend like this isn't some plague doctor's worst nightmare. You take it, you slice it down the middle, you remove all the bitey parts and organs, maybe cover it in some lemon, and you have the most traumatizing meal imaginable easier. So you take a lawnmower and you just plow it right through. Same deal with the leeches, but instead of single sides, you get a giant platter of mutilated nematone enchiladas. Yum, easier. It is living seaweed. If you rip it out of its den somehow and carve the seaweed off of it, you basically just have free sushi rolls for life. Or dried seaweed, which is one of my favorite snacks. Just be sure to kill it before this happens or else it'll strangle you. But hey, infinite seaweed is great, A tier. Would I consume a single nervous system designed for predatory ambush hunting? Yes. If you cut it, you get like a really long plant. Unsure what to do with this, and you can make like a like a red bean spring salad, which is very healthy and refreshing and tastes like crunchy water and death. Eh, yeah, B-tier. Now we move on to the mammalian fauna. Such creatures that I have a specific hatred towards. There's there's so much you could do here. Such variety, but the best way is just to keep it simple, you know? Very squishy, fatty, tastes like pork, and perfect for you and your kids to dine on. B-tier. Hey, little guy. The best thing about lantern mice is how easy they are to spot. Despite being a decently sized animal, they don't provide that much meat, so I introduce lantern loops. Glowy meal for your fussy kid. Eat it fast, though, because the glow only lasts so long until it goes cold and you have to convince your kid that they are, in fact, not eating decomposed meat rings. B tier. I could never hurt you. I could never hurt you. I would only assume that you taste like a balloon. A very happy balloon. You know what? You get S tier. Not because you're edible, but because you're a winner. The beast will provide a feast glorious for all. May the gods bless us with his holy flesh as we may dine upon it for centuries. The days of harmony are upon us. S tier. Meat for all. As we return to our roots, you know, the ocean, of course, we must start with the most basic of aquatic creatures. The jetfish, or the jet squid, or whichever one you prefer, can provide us with a very, 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 very chewy, salty snack. Jetfish sticks, battered and fried and requires the jaw strength of at least six hippos. Nature. I've always called them turtles because, you know, they look like turtles to me. They got little turtle feet and everything and turtle faces. But people hate me misgendering the snails, so we're gonna eat them instead. Pop escargot, a very salty meal that'll pop in your mouth and give you a concussion if you eat it wrong, but I'm not gonna tell you how, so D tier. Ah. Rip the ink sack out of this alien ass looking squid thing. You can prime it for hazer sushi rolls. Perfect for somebody who thinks sushi is an exotic food. S tier. We have the jellyfish sandwich, because we love SpongeBob. The saggy, brainless, living Zap Ziploc bag is perfect for a nice PB&J. Eat this and listen to Jellyfish Jam and you'll be dead in weeks! C tier. The music is still going on. 
Industrial Revolution and its consequences have been a disaster for my appetite. Beginning this category, we have our good old face, the vultures. Clearly these dumbass geese still have edibles on them, so this should be easy. Carving around the mechanical ingenuity, we have some fresh vulture tenders. Pair it with your choice of sauce and you got a snack or a meal fit for any age. I love chicken tenders and honey mustard, so I'm biased, so this gets an S here. Chicken tenders don't have to just be for kids, alright? Next we have the Mirosper. The, the Miro- The Mirosper- Turn the fucking music off, please! God. Anyway, this is the Miro's bird. I present Miro's tenders. They're like vulture tenders, but they're Miro's. It's a much fattier consistency and a much darker meat. Preferably with something spicy, like, you know, buffalo sauce. Not my favorite, but you know, I give it a B tier. It tastes like funk music and screaming birds. Listen, we throw a really big bomb into its mouth and maybe it'll die. And when it does die, we can uh, we can serve the Leviathan Potluck. A giant fucking bowl of Leviathan meat for the whole family. It tastes like fish, but doesn't resemble it at all. D tier, all that work for some fishy smelling nuts and bolts. Edible garden hose? The reason I put the garbage worms here and not with the other worms is because there's no way this thing is naturally evolved. I refuse to believe that. It sounds like it's giving out fucking EMP signals and it never dies. If you can manage to dislodge this thing from its hole, which isn't possible, you can expect to eat garbage spaghetti. It's just one really long noodle covered in trash water. Enjoy, E tier. We're back jelly babies for another jelly baby. This one explodes. Going from PB and jellyfish, we have the jellyfish club. Stuffed with all the jelly flesh and the orange mold. Delicious. Put some chips around it. You got an authentic cybernetic jellyfish sandwich. It tastes like egg yolk and chains and seawater. D tier. What is there to say about the guardians except how they would be no <laughs> So they're a bit crunchy, but if you kill them, you get overseared eyeballs. You know, like giant meatballs, but they're integrator tech. Very crunchy and tastes like chemicals, and I think I cut my mouth open. E tier. I need a better dentist. Now, with all the iterators, instead of, like, making a dish out of them, I'm just gonna guess what I think their favorite food would be. Moon is definitely a fruit salad kind of girl. If she could eat, I imagine she'd eat, like, refreshing and sweet fruits. Hello, my favorite piece of shit. With how serious Pebbles is, I imagine he eats, you know, really mature foods, like foods that only, like, adults in their 30s would ever consume. Like, dino nuggets. I don't know why, but I imagine no significant harassment eating a burrito and trying to convince all the other iterators that it's like some super rare extinct consumable substance. It is in fact a burrito. I want to give them a grilled cheese. I, I want to give sons a grilled cheese. I don't know why. Like, it's cheesy and yellow and it's fit for somebody going through conflicting emotional abuse. I think Silver of Straw would eat the souls of dead maidens. And for the final category, we have the weird uncategorized platters, which just rounds up to like two things. That being the rot. Now you can apparently eat the rot, which I find extremely gross, but we won't question the dietary functions of this creature. So I introduced long leg sorbet. It comes in so many colors and flavors, it, it's so pretty. We got blue raspberry, strawberry, grape, poop, and they all taste like mold. The rat consumes, but, you know, so do I. D tier. Last but not least, we have the void worms. If one truly did swim up to the prophet beacon of dimensional rifts and attempt to feast upon its flesh, what would be gained? The secrets of the universe, maybe? Colors that can't be seen or words that can never be described? A language so dead and foreign that only gods remember it speaking to them? flesh unconsumable and maddening for my own gain, its precious sanguination tainting the mind, a hideous, foul, but what bleeds can be killed. Do we want to live forever? Do we have what it takes? Eh, yeah, see, cheer, I don't think it tastes very good. Well, that looks about right. All the food laid out for me in this buffet, amazing. That's all forever on Master Skug Kitchen. Hehe, <laughs> bye bye.